Hi, I'm Ryan with BTOD.com and the Breakroom blog. Today I'm bringing you a quick video on the VeriDesk Cube Corner 36. The Cube Corner 36 is a standing desk converter that sits on top of your existing desk and features a fixed dual platform design with a double Z-shaped base with gas lifts that help to assist in the height adjustment process. The thing that makes the Cube Corner 36 unique and allows it to fit into cubicles and corner desks is that the back of the platforms are tapered so that you don't run into the walls of your cubicle or the wall behind your corner desk. The aspects that I like about the Cube Corner 36 are one, it ships fully assembled. All you need to do is take the item out of the box, set it on your desk, and you're ready to go. There's no other assembly required with the unit. The second thing that I like is that it has a five-year warranty on all of the parts. If anything goes wrong, VeriDesk will simply ship you a new unit. The final thing that I really like about this product is that if you decide that you do not like it, you have 30 days to send it back and VeriDesk will give you a full refund, they will not charge you shipping, and they also do not require you to hang on to the original box. So their return policy is definitely the best in the industry. I'm a big fan of the policies that VeriDesk offers on their products, but I'm not a huge fan of the quality of the Cube Corner 36. There are several things that I do not like about the product. The first thing is going to be the lack of ergonomics and the lack of an adjustment range. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that the keyboard tray raises the minimum height of your keyboard just under an inch. This can be a problem for short people or people that like to type with a keyboard tray that keeps their keyboard lower than their desk. You might be reaching up with an upward typing angle. The second thing that you're gonna notice is that the very desk doesn't adjust high enough for people over six feet tall. So if you're over six feet tall, you're gonna to wanna to go with an alternative product or you're gonna have a downward typing angle. The next problem when it comes to ergonomics is that the Cube Corner 36 does not have dual ergonomics. Dual ergonomics means that the platform for the keyboard tray and the monitor adjust independently, allowing you to create any amount of space between the two so that you can have the proper monitor viewing angle and typing height at the same time. For this unit, you'll need to add a monitor arm to ensure that for all users. The final thing that I do not like in regards to ergonomics with this product is that it does not have infinite position lock. Infinite position lock allows you to lock it in any height, whereas the, Pro, whereas the Cube Corner 36 only allows you to choose between 11 positions, which could be a problem for people that find their preferred height to be in between one of the two positions provided. The next thing that I do not like about the Cube Corner 36 is the overall footprint that it takes up on your desk. This unit is massive and takes up a lot of space. If it's used on a normal desk, it's going to have a lot of overhang off the back, so you can't use this if your desk is up against a wall or if you have a desk that's less than 36 inches. When you raise the desk, it's going to push you from your desk quite a bit. So you need to make sure that you have a lot of space behind you to accommodate for this amount of space that it pushes you back, which could be a problem for people that have small desk spaces. The next problem that you're going to run into that I do not like about the VeriDesk Cube Corner 36 is the lack of standing stability. And this is directly related to the amount that the platforms move out. So you can see that when they're extended fully out like this, the platforms have quite a bit of movement and it doesn't take a lot for me to get these platforms moving. So when you're typing, you're constantly having monitor movement, keyboard bounce, and everything on your desk can shake very easily because of the lack of stability and the lack of locking and the bouncing that the unit has basically at all times, other than in the lowest position. Thanks for watching this quick review on the VeriDesk Cube Corner 36. If you have any questions or would like more info, visit btod.com and the Breakroom blog.